I'm pretty sure most people have already seen this particular article on the World of Tanks webpage talking about the rebalancing of gold ammunition which is a a really long wanted thing in the game where hopefully people will stop just driving around like idiots and super conquerors just firing nothing but gold rounds because a super conqueror I honestly think at this point is bad like it's in I was about to say it's as bad but no it's worse than the T-54 when it comes to its gold spam like it is ridiculous it is actually stupid how bad the super conqueror is when it comes to just gold spam and that tank in general is already overpowered so the fact that people are firing gold rounds in it means that thing is practically Waffen Triggery 100 level just stupid so yeah uh, if, you, if you can't tell I really do not like the super conqueror it really pisses me off but uh, back on topic so this is going to be a rework of gold ammunition and they've said in this article as you can see here it's different from the one outlined at Wargaming Fest last year so the Wargaming Fest last year idea was effectively like a decrease in alpha damage depending on how high your base alpha damage was for your tier. So as an example, if you had like a T44, you lost like 25% of your alpha damage. But if you had something like a Jagdpanzer 100 you would lose like a, a, like a third of your alpha damage. So it would effectively just be based off of your alpha damage in comparison to your other counterparts, which... Was I, I, I thought that was a pretty decent way of doing things, but I guess they must have found some issues with it. My guess is they probably found that people firing gold rounds didn't really stop. They probably just kept firing gold rounds and just, well, just took the hit in DPM just in order to guarantee damage. I guess, like, if you're trying to, like, stop bad players from just using gold rounds non-stop, I guess, that, I guess, like, a loss in alpha damage really wouldn't stop them. They would still just fire it and just try and guarantee as much damage as they possibly can get. Uh, I mean, as an example, like seeing T-54s just rush forward and YOLO people and somehow survive for like a minute, what they'll do is they will just like auto-aim onto the vehicle which is easiest to, to hit, effectively, and they'll just hold down the left mouse button while just driving around in circles hoping to get as many hits as possible. You see that sometimes where just like a, a tank which, for, which just for no reason would rush forward get themselves killed but they'll get like a thousand damage and they'll be happy with that I guess that previous iteration of the gold rebalancing didn't really fix that issue and I think that's probably true I can see how that wouldn't fix the issue but when it comes to other ideas and like how exactly they could fix this I think what they would probably have to do is they would probably have to have some sort of like proportional increase in penetration based off the base penetration of your of your tanks guns for their tier so effectively to explain what I mean by that, like tier 10 tank destroyers, do they really need 400 millimeter penetration gold rounds? No, they really don't need that that amount of penetration. Honestly, I would say like they need maybe like 10 to 15 percent more penetration for the gold rounds than standard rounds. I mean, Jagdpanzer 100 gets 299 penetration. 10 percent increase gives it 330. 20 percent increase gives it 360. I would say 10 to 20 percent is probably the sweet spot. Like I would say that's probably around about the amount of penetration boost you would want from gold rounds. Because right now we do have some tanks which have insane penetration just because. I mean, Jagdpanzer 100 gets 420 penetration on its gold rounds, which is which is just ludicrous. So yeah, I think that would probably be a good way of doing things. Like just lower penetration guns get more of a boost. Higher penetration guns get less of a boost. So. In my mind, that seems like a decent way of doing things, but yeah, who, who knows what direction they're actually going to go with this. And actually, another idea, which I think they could use, is they could use like a like a cap on how many gold rounds tanks can actually carry into a fight. So, as an example, with, uh, with the classic server of the game, there was a hard cap on how many gold rounds tanks could carry into a battle. And a lot of people seem to actually like that fact, which effectively stop people from just spamming gold non-stop with no, without any sort of repercussions which I actually thought was genuinely like a like a good way of doing things but the problem with that particular system was it was based off of gold cost it wasn't like credit cost it was gold cost because that's the way it was back in the day so I'm not exactly sure like how, how successful that particular system would be either because in my mind at least just thinking about it off the top of my head I feel like it would probably result in the first heavily armored vehicle that is spotted on the enemy team will just get gold rounded to, to 
ju just to pieces and just would just be shredded in like no time flat. Whereas the second heavily armored vehicle that spotted would be practically impossible to kill because everybody's already spammed all their gold rounds. So it's one of those things where it, c it could be one or the other. Like it's it it could potentially work. Like if people are saving the gold rounds, but I feel like most people are probably just gonna press the two key as soon as they see something which might might be mildly difficult to deal with. So. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to see how exactly they they go about doing this here, and I feel like I feel like there's like one other op, there's one other other option they could go for, maybe just like nerfing the rate of fire rather than the alpha damage for gold rounds, which is something they 100% could do if they want to, but it'd be a very tricky system to like implement because people are so used to having just the same reload for their HE, their AP, and their APCR or, or heat rounds. So it'd be interesting if they had a different reload rather than a different, uh, rather than a different like alpha damage, because I actually think it would be more brutal to miss a shot with, with a uh, higher alpha damage but lower rate of fire, than high rate of fire but lower alpha damage. Because I mean, just as an example, like to use an extreme example to keep it as easy as possible, if you have two tanks with three thousand DPM, one has a three hundred alpha alpha gun, one has a thousand alpha gun. If the 1000 alpha gun misses one shot, their DPM goes from 3000 to 2000. If a 300 alpha damage gun with a 10 rounds per minute, if it misses one shot, then their alpha damage goes from 3000 to 2700. So I feel like maybe like an alpha damage or an alpha damage nerf is probably the, maybe, well, I feel like the alpha damage nerf could be the wrong way to go about things. Maybe, maybe it would be better to actually nerf the rate of fire that the gold runs have rather than the alpha damage. Because like, I I feel like that would actually be more more devastating to people who who are just like spam nothing but gold. Because they would actually be able to feel that a bit more than the just loss of alpha damage. So yeah, like those are like my ideas for what they could do with. They could also mess with just the RNG for gold runs as well. Like maybe make the RNG absolutely just ridiculous. Like I mean, RNG on standard runs is like twenty five percent. They could make it like seventy five percent just to throw like a wild number out there and just make it so that gold runs are horrifically like just random when it comes to their penetration and when it comes to their uh, to their alpha damage and stuff like that. Like, who knows, they could go, they could do anything with this. Like, we just know it's going to be apparently different in some shape or form than the previous version. So, I'm very intrigued to see what exactly, what exactly this is going to be like and I'll see if I can make a video on it whenever they release more information on this here because I'm really curious to see what this is going to be like. I'm really curious to mess about with this here on the Sandbox server when it comes out tomorrow.